Last time on Game Grumps. Calm down, you know. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tweak it out, man. Because I killed her. What? Because of the wonderful things he does. What, really? If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, okay, so, so I killed Sakura first. <laughs> the queen. The queen, the rook, the knight, bishop, and sklerg. <laughs> sklerg, the murglerfler. <laughs> From the planet Bluglugler. It must have been used by... The Some second bowling attacker. aficionados. Yeah, correct. <laughs> the second attacker. What? Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Hello, and welcome back to Dingly Rimpleys. Uh, we are in the middle of case number four. And the tides of of uh, danger are turning against Toko. What is Dingly Rimpleys? It's th this game. It's the game we're playing. <laughs> I can love it. Dingly Rimpleys? Yeah. Tringer Himpy Humvak. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I can I get the new the latest copy of Dingly Rimpleys? <laughs> of course. Oh, Dingly Rimpleys Five, the Dingly Rimpleyest. <laughs> Um, it's yes, you, I would baby. like to learn about the bullet time battles. Probably even f pressing the Y button during your final strike without a second thought, but from now on you're gonna have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Oh, crap. Uh, you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de gras. You'll select it the same way it, the non-stop debate. Okay, got it. Simply LB. press the pound button, also <laughs> known as the LB button. Alright, there we go, got it. Cool. I love how it's like, unless you're playing on easy mode. <laughs> like a child. Oh, fuck, I hate this shit. Wow, you're doing great. Oh, reload. Oh, God. Reload, reload. Unless you don't have to. Got it. Okay. Final, Final strike. strike. Um. A uh, locker handprint. Locker handprint. This should prove it. <sighs> Wait, was a locker handprint? Yeah, there was handprints on the locker. Oh, I forgot about that. I made a joke about her tiny hands in the. Oh. They must have been hiding in there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's, it was kind of like a. It was like we were kind of like, what, what's left? And then there was like, oh, the locker's over here. And I was like, all right, that's yeah, the last piece of it. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Kind of went under the radar, I guess. Does his handprint look familiar, Toko? <laughs> it's <laughs> the size of a kitten. <laughs> Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? <laughs> Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Oh my god, you're still here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I've solved this case. <laughs> Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Well, I mean, you straight yeah, who up admitted would do it that? and murdered somebody. Dumbass. <laughs> Oh. Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Oh my god, there's so many layers to this one. Huh. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first. And hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> awkward! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I have a hard time with up and down, left and right. I don't know. I was hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> it looked right to me. This is Spider-Man. Forget all that. 
Why did you attack Sakura? Well, now that she's acting all like, like maybe it was Byakuya. Maybe it was like maybe yeah, this is like yeah. a triple situation. Or maybe it's back to hero. I don't. I, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, man. Push a button. <laughs> The coolest strong ever. Yeah, it's awesome. Right at me. When I saw that blood, I fainted. Right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her, you mean? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, God. It was your fault after all. My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. Well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Some no shit. I worried about you, and you, you're terrible. No, she's terrible. Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever. And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman. If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Genocide Jill? You're alright. <laughs> as long as you take out Byakuya, all is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calling her ogre isn't helping your case, dude. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Keep talking like that, and Hina's gonna. Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. Oh my God! It is Hina. No, not quite yet. Not yet? Why not yet? Oh my God! There was something odd about Toko's story. I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd. Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Wasn't she poisoned? <sighs> was fucking Hina. Oh my god, I was right the first oh time. Oh my god, what? Oh, the misdirection. No way. Pushed a button. <sighs> Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Do you wish my command, darling? Ugh. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to deal with Genocide Jill for another seven episodes. <laughs> uh... The one who killed Sakura is... Wait, what? I'm not- I can't just say that right now? I don't know. Uh... Okay. Yeah. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. Uh huh. You smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle. You got it. I smashed her good. And where did the attack take place? <laughs> well, I smashed her good. Right where I, woke up. I killed her there in front of the shelf. Ah 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 ah! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> was that- was that it in front of the shelf? Yeah. W with what bullet? Uh... With the status of her body- because her, her body was sitting down. Oh, 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 oh. So uh, she would be in front of the shelf if she was killed there. That certainly does make sense. Oh yeah, that does make- that does explain the blood stain. Boom. In front of the shelf! Got it. 
No, -uh, not true. Objection. <laughs> found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's uh, just another lie a fuck from up. a bloodthirsty serial killer. It's so easy to just declare like you knew everything after people figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely. Moron. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder no, I'm sure because I'm cool. I'm touching my glasses. <laughs> that has to be it. The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. It's the blood, blood on the floor. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> it was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't smashed this chick over the head? <laughs> There's no way I could move a muscle bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, but, plus, the biggest mystery of all the locked room still has yet to be explained. <sighs> Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. And also the fucking protein shake and the... Oh, yeah. Easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. <sighs> so she just hid in there? Till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because I was in the locker. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, because oh, because I saw the locker through the window. Yeah. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. Oh, excuse me, God. And at that point, the locker was already open. That's right. So obviously, Toko could airing out all of Toko's farts. I didn't fart! Genocide Joe farted! Yeah. I have- Yeah! I farted! I have proof that you farted! It's right here! Objection! No! You're wrong! Oh, well, that's a cute genocide Jill picture. <laughs> yeah. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. Just say it then, you dickbag. That means Oka <laughs> didn't die from the shot to the head. And? <laughs> and? And? Shut up! Just shut up! Shut up! <laughs> or better than shutting up, say the thing. What if everybody murders Byakuya all at once? Do they all get to graduate? Hopefully. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we really be missing something so important? If there's another possible explanation, maybe it's the poison that we went on a whole tangent about? I don't know. Yeah, and that was on her shoe, and there were footprints, and... Yeah. Jesus Christ. Wait, what's Monokuma file number four? I don't know. Can I... Burn? Oh. There we go. Um, time of death is 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room, third floor of the school. Strong head blow, no individual. Seems like at some point the visitors have violent vomiting of blood. Got it. Hmm. It wasn't from genocide Jill's attack. Then what was it? There's no other possible cause. But killed Sakura. It was. Wrong! Fuck, fuck! Shoot it, goddammit! Fucking god! It bounced off. I think it's supposed to be yellow powder. Oh, really? I, yeah, I think so. Wait, hold on. Did it bounce off? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Maybe not. So weirdly worked that time. Break! According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. Cool! She's so metal, I can't even get started on it. <laughs> yeah. I walked in there and I couldn't help it, Air Guitar! <laughs> there 
was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. That happens all the time. When someone hits you over the head, the back of the head with a bottle, and the glass shards fly in a U formation into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. They call it boomeranging. It's a very <laughs> common thing. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. Oh, did you look inside her and mouth, Kyoko? Me, I got all up in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyoko's a, an interesting person. <laughs> what do you think these gloves are for? <laughs> no, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into when I performed the routine <laughs> corpse colonoscopy, <laughs> I found nothing. Yeah. Don't even get me started on her butthole. But if there wasn't a gut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body, most likely. Uh huh. Poison? Couldn't have possibly been by the poison that was spilled all over the place, and on her it shoe. Venomous poison. That poison running through my veins. Alice Cooper, Poison, 1991. Yeah, it really bothers me how it's so like, like each little piece is like so revelatory when it happens, and it's like, well, I knew about all these things beforehand. Like, I right, right. Could I could have brought up the shoe powder, like right at the beginning. I could have been like, here's all the evidence I have. There was shoe powder. There was this. You know. I just gotta let it work out, run its own course. Yeah. Is it really so hard to believe? Then let, then me, let me explain how I poisoned her. I I mean how she, uh, she honey, was uh -oh. poisoned. Oh, all right, you got me. <laughs> Guess I'm not so good at this after all. <laughs> if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master. Oh, I was really gonna be happy when she died. <laughs> well, you don't know. I don't know. This mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? Wow. Way to not bring poison, attention and suspicion to yourself by poison carrying poison. the poison that she yeah. died from. And I found this used, already used bottle of Chem C9. It already had my fingerprints all over it, so I figured I'd take it anyway. I happen to know exactly what happens to a victim when they ingest this stuff. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. In my back pocket after I used it on Sakura. Let's vote. Up into three sections, A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. They stand for three very important words. Abracadabra, Babracadabra, <laughs> and Cabracadabra. <laughs> and just Cadabra. Well, <laughs> Abracadabra, Bracadabra, and Cadabra. <laughs> yeah. Cadabra by itself is poison. Unless there's Bucadabra to reagent, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like already talking about something else. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Only an idiot would leave it there. Only a stupid asshole would leave it there, huh? Certainly not a smart guy like me. Uh. Dick. Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. What do you mean? I mean this. Just pulls out his wiener. Bianchi put the bottle of poison to his lips and. We were so shocked at what we were seeing, all we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Byakuya was as calm as ever. That tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! 
The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? What a badass! <laughs> I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Uh? Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Do whatever you like. Yes. It says you're going jism to need on me it. to regurgitate what I just drank. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched the finger to her tongue. Is, it's protein powder. Uh. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder. The poison that should have How did my bottle, pecs get so swole? <laughs> <laughs> the bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder. Which would mean that conversely the poison must have been in Could it be Oh, do I really have to do a whole thing about it? Hangman's Gambit! Uh... Protein drink. Okay. <laughs> oh, give me some prot, baby. Mm -hmm. Stop wiggling around so much. What? Give um, me that teen, dog! Give me that, that sweet, sweet teen. teen. Protein drank? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that purple drank! <laughs> well done. Now I understand. Now I get it! I didn't before, but when in my mind it was like a like a game of hangman and there were numbers yeah, and letters. Play like... Hangman's gambit for a second. Like he <laughs> comes out of it, everyone's left. <laughs> okay. The proteins in the poison bottle. <laughs> It seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? No. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, no. You would need a, why not just, like a third why bottle. Why pour like... one out and <laughs> why, why exchange them? So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Right. <laughs> it must have been in the bottle I hit her over the head with, and the poison went into her head via osmosis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Very boomerang good, method! <laughs> <laughs> uh, something at the scene. Oh, there's a protein. Protein drink. Yep. I got it! Who got it? I'm so smart! Just like in the game of Hangman in my head. What? <laughs> All it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. Yeah, everyone was like whacking her over the head and they thought like, oh, I killed her, <laughs> yeah, and I it's killed so her. so funny. Every every innocent person in this room just bashed her over the head with the nearest <laughs> object. Yeah, so you're all fine. Everybody's fine. Don't worry. I know you all had the intent to kill her, but whatever. stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was so in the end was a bottle full of poison. <laughs> and I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. It was me. Uh, Evidence <laughs> revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Oh, yeah, it was it was Hina with her tiny feet. Oh. It's gotta be the footprint size. Um footprint. Footprint. Oh wait, was it? I think it was Sakura. <laughs> Footprints in the powder. I got <laughs> Footprints left behind in front of the shelf. Uh huh. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? Um, sure. <laughs> the chem lab Good job, idiot. And there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around But the then the I murder. came later There's and no there was footprints. <laughs> Which leads me to believe What's that more, somebody was standing there and walking. I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must and what I found there was one the single footprint. <laughs> <laughs> About eight to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> and given how clear the prints were, 
Figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. <laughs> then we'll see who... I suppose we could have done that right at the top of the trial, but... Yeah, well... It's fine. The footprints. Damn, Hina! They're mine. What the fudge? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? <sighs> Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. How many people are gonna confess to this murder? <laughs> Damn. Man, I should've stuck to my guns on this one. Wow. At least, at least I'll get the satisfaction of the comments of that particular episode being like, Holy shit, Aaron called it, what the fuck? Look at Monokuma in the background like, <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> you stupid bear asshole. I mean, that's not what I saw, but wow! <laughs> oh, shut your fucking trap. Shut up! The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And there's no one here that wears sne- I wear sneakers. Okay, well there's only two people that- I also wear sneakers. Okay, well- Also, how dumb do you have to be to not notice that you're leaving obvious footprints in yellow powder spilled all yeah. over the floor? Like, kick it around, man. Here who wear sneakers, are... sneakers, huh? The only people who wear sneakers here are... Uh... Oh. Kodo and Hina. <laughs> I wear sneakers? I got it. Yeah. Me! I guess I must have killed her! <laughs> I guess you'll have to hear it from me first. Uh, I did it. Oh, this is a flashback from this scene. Yes. <sighs> okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. And no one else. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. But damn that Makoto with his giant feet and... Reasonably sized hog as a result. <laughs> well, not to brag. This whole time you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I can't believe it. Hina, you were my third favorite. What about it? believe? Well, it's just. The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Oh, so sneaky. The concoction? Hina used that trust concoction. to kill her. <laughs> she deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? My hair very, she very... She just said it's true. She yeah. She just said it. Sakura? Why? Why would you do that? I, I swear why. by the Dairy Queen dollop on my head that I did it! I know. She wants to leave. I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But... When I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just... occurred to me all of a sudden. How hilarious it would be to kill someone. That's what you yeah. thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then... she downed it. All at once. And... and then... Hold it! <laughs> I'm not convinced. Whoa. Not what? You claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. I swear to God, if it's not Hina, I'm gonna lose my mind. What matters is outwitting. Oh my God, it's fucking Biakia. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just so like in the end. Sakura <laughs> to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. I mean, I could have done it. How many Fuck. Times do you plan to repeat yourself? <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Why the powder was on her feet? Uh, why the bottle was above the glass. Mm. Oh, in the locked room, I guess. Explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. 
but the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Well then, um... The nuts to that! We're running out of people! <laughs> Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean... Why would someone leave such a clear clue like a- Well, that- that was my question. It's too... obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. Yeah, that was... I was just... nervous. So... I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah! <laughs> That's just how it was. A footprint! Oh boy! Or nine! <laughs> If if actual murder cases were this confusing, no case would ever get solved. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So you're meaning to tell me that when you saw the footprints, you were like, nah, notice. Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Kina, please. I'd like to know too. Kina, please. <laughs> Please, Hina, just, uh, just say it, Hina, please. <laughs> really kind of like you. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. Oh, he's sweating now. Yeah. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, well right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Like it was hot. <laughs> okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Uh -huh. Once I was done with that, uh -huh. I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. Okay. All right. I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. <gasps> and because of that, Stupid. everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. First it you moved me. To to <laughs> the to I think my, the whole direction of my life is going to change now. Yeah. I realized that I oh, shouldn't should... be... <laughs> there should have been more footprints. Oh. To section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. But if that's true, isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? Oh my god. Byakuya poured the poison on the ground to cover up the footprints. Right? Wait, I don't know. Shit, I'm not sure. Until we figure it out, until I uncover the full truth of this case! This case! Footprints in the powder. Chem lab shelf. Source of the powder. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled okay. some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Like it was hot, right? We established that. Yes, of course, yes. I moved from section C to section A. Uh, 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 shoot! Yell! Explode! <laughs> Break. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? No. Yeah? What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. Yeah, but I just kind of craned my body over so that I wouldn't leave <laughs> footprints over in the sea. It was super awkward. The footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. That contradicts what you just said. No, it doesn't. Shut up. What? Kill me. Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? Mm. She's stupid. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well, you lied to us. Plain and simple. Like a bagel. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. the in the are 
Um, thanks, Kyoko. Anyway. <laughs> the powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. Oh. You never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. God damn it. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean... How many people are going to accidentally conf confess to this murder? Yeah. Um, next time on Game Grumps, I guess? Yeah, I mean, this could go on. Could go on. Yeah, yeah. Could end up accusing me for a while. I have a good feeling, though. I have a good feeling that the next episode is going to finally reveal the killer. Yeah. Only because we've run out of people to, uh... To, to accuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, alright, next time on Game Grumps. Let's do it! Thank <laughs> you.